and Zendaya. Now, at this point, I only wanted to make because of just ruminating about it the other day, thinking to myself, like, why can't we live in a world, right? Let me get a picture up here. Why can't we live in a world where looking like Lizzo is okay and should be promoted and you should feel comfortable in your own skin, especially when it comes to how people deal with you in public? Why why don't we live in a world where it's okay to look like this and it's and be somewhat celebrated and it's okay to look like this and be somewhat celebrated? One image for the people that listen via the audio podcast is a picture of Lizzo um, in a very tight, um, short, purplish, um, kind of shimmery dress thing. And she's kind of showing us the back of her ass a little bit, getting sexy with it. And then the other picture is Zendaya attending a red uh, a red carpet event for June wearing um, a liar head to toe. They just took the entire look off from the runaway and placed it on her body and it looks absolutely banging, right, in terms of how it fits and everything. But the reality of it, which we all know because we've got eyes, is that the reason why the dress looks amazing on Zendaya is because she has a supermodel figure, right? Whatever sample size this dress is or whatever, however it was cut, it was specifically cut to make women that are Zendaya size look good. If you were to put that dress on Lizzo, for instance, it wouldn't look as good. But that doesn't matter, right? You, Lizzo should have her own lane where she exists, where she doesn't have to kind of conform to um, social beauty norms or whatever it may be called, right? Um, that's a good thing. But the issue that I kind of have at the moment is that people fail or people refuse or people are unwilling to praise Zendaya because she's slim and looks great in clothes, but they're willing to go overboard and kind of clap when a fat person knows how to write their name in the pen in, in pencil or something Jeremy's you know I mean? like it just doesn't really resonate or make sense with me in that regard i wish we could be a little bit more fair a little bit more understanding but the irony of it the entire situation of this as well when you think about it is that who really is to blame for these unfair beauty standards and um lack of kind of uh, what would you say um a lack of self-love and all this stuff who's to blame really for it I would hazard a guess and say the main culprit is obviously fashion magazines are mostly women because these people that actually run these places. If you ever and if you ever doubted it, you need to kind of go incognito and sit down at a fashion shoot somewhere. There's no other place where you feel completely demeaned. You feel completely demoralized. Um, you just feel like, you know, you should change completely your career path and go for something else. It happens all the time. Um, so I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I wish it could be a little bit more fair and parity in terms of how we talk about these women in pop culture or in culture in general. But unfortunately, we're at this weird precipice where because Lizzo feels like she's not represented enough and doesn't necessarily get a voice or people don't necessarily treat her the same because just because she happens to be big and she's wearing this doesn't mean people should kind of essentially not see any issue with her wearing whatever she's wearing. Do you know what I mean? That's, the I guess, the problem that she has. And we're at an impasse, so both sets of the teams are on either side of the room and no one wants to come in the middle and basically hash it out. They're just fine just occupying the ends of the room in that way, which is, you know, neither here or there, I guess. Neither here or there. 